yeah, the, the movie, we're, we're sort of all, like, like you said, in very tight quarters together. We're living this sort of suburban life but out in the middle of space floating around. And the great thing about the movie is it's, it's, a, it's comedic and it's kind of quirky, but um, the undertones are that we all have sort of these vulnerabilities and these issues that are plaguing us that kind of bubble up on the surface as the quarters get tighter and tighter when the new captain show up and she sort of un, uh, upends kind of the balance that exists there and it throws up all of us into kind of... Very uh, much in keeping with the women's lib movement. Yes. She uh, is a, a, a great threat to Patrick Wilson's character and, and to my character because she has the hot to my husband. It sort of spins all of us out, and all every by the end, it all comes. The truth comes out. It's sort of like reminiscent of like a John Cheever short story or the Ice Storm or something like that, where it's, there's all kinds of suburban duality going on, where people subscribe to a certain life, thinking that it's going to make all their shadows and problems go away, and inevitably. They boil to the surface, uh, whether you like it or not. And, um, it's a comedic ice storm. Yeah. Sure <laughs> I play Ted, who is the mechanic on the space station. And, uh, much like a mechanic, he wants to fix everything. And he is just the kind of guy who no good deed goes unpunished. He's trying to do the right thing and do the best by his wife and their child. And, and it's just not working out well for him. And I play a very disappointed wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sort of checked out in many ways and it um, turns out to be a manipulative, not terribly supportive mother or wife. Well, and, and, and in fairness to you, I think that my character promised a lot of things to her that just did not come to fruition as of yet. Absolutely. Could not have been more fun. <laughs> in my humble opinion. Yeah. I got to wear lots of fabulous outfits, yeah, so I was yeah, like, okay, this is the kind of things that you just have, I have never put on my body before, and yeah. it's like giant onesie leotard type situations that were, in fairness, too tight, but um, it was it was fun to wear, the crazy, uh, there's some close-ups of some butts that don't need to happen, but that's okay. No, it was um, it was a lot, a lot of fun. They did big fair faucet hair, yeah, big eye yeah. lashes. It was fun. It was you know for a girl anyway. It was, it was a lot of fun. I, I was in the pit. Yes, yeah, but I did get to wear um, uh, a corduroy jumpsuit. Um, that was pretty rock that fun. Tonight. It's not, yes, I, it's not my first time to Austin, but it's my first time to Southwest. Yeah, it just really started, so we haven't been able to be out and about that much. I went to the kickoff party last night, however, and uh, yeah, it's great. It's a, a lot of people here seeing lots of fun movies, so you, it's, it's my kind of place. I wish we had a little more time to actually see other movies, but, yeah. but it's fun. It's great. We get to all see each other, which we haven't seen each other in a long time, so. I think growing up in the suburbs, I related so much to these to people who believe that if we get our own plot of land and fence and we live in the right neighborhood, everything is going to be perfect. And then, you know, sort of going to the potluck dinners and seeing people's the other aspect of people's personality kind of come up to the surface, and I related to that part of the script. And it's, even though it is a simpler time and there it there aren't iPhones and, and so many distractions. Even then, it's a movie about people who are really disconnected and having a hard time actually connecting to each other. And the social hierarchy that exists the way we live now, we just, in the movie, we just sort of point out that no matter where you go, there you are. It's like now we're all on space pods and everyone's conniving to get to the better space pod because yeah. there's still that like bigger, better deal social hierarchy situation that, um, you know, we feel that we're sort of floundering in no man's land because our spaceship isn't cool enough and the next one up would be the place where we've arrived and it's sort of, um, you know, like I said, just you leave Earth, you're floating around space and still you struggle with the same issues that are sort of empty in the end that we struggle with here. I think the most memorable for me was that scene at the end where everyone's together because so yeah, much of my stuff could have been with you or with Liv on yeah. our own or with our child. Me too. So, um, getting to see what everyone was bringing to the table yeah. all in one room. It was like theater, really, was, because we just would run these yeah. long scenes where everyone sort of is there. Yeah. And uh, it, all, like, as I was saying earlier, all the stuff that's repressed and sort of the characters are individually dealing with is sort of this crescendo moment where everything kind of comes flying out, and it was a lot of fun to shoot.
Uh, I have a film called The Normal Heart coming on HBO, and then I have uh, the last season of White Collar. I start filming probably this summer. And I'm writing, developing a TV uh, project right now for Warner Brothers. Yes. Yes.